All right, we're going to calculate the concentration of iron 3 when we add um, a small amount of iron 3 nitrate and we mix it in 1 liter of 1.50 molar sodium cyanide solution. So one thing we need to remember is that iron 3 will react with 6 cyanide ions to form this complex. All right, so the first thing we want to do is figure out um, how much of this complex actually forms. So we're going to call this first step complex formation. All right, and so um, we're going to have before the reaction. We're going to assume we've got a, um, then our change, we're going to assume we have a limiting reagent, which is going to be iron 3, and then after the reaction. Okay, so uh, before it's 0 0.050, and the 6 cyanide is going to be. Um, 1.50 um, because sodium cyanide is NaCN. We're not going to multiply that by 6, but we will multiply something by 6. Okay, and so our complex is 0. All right, so the change is going to be 0 0.050. We're going to assume this is our limiting reagent, and this is going to go down 6 times. 0 0.050 because of our mole ratio 1 to 6. And then this is going to go up. It can only go up 0 0.050. And then after the reaction, uh, we're going to say we have 0 iron. Again, this is for mathematical purposes to help us solve this uh, problem. And so we have some of our complex to start with. Okay, so that's, that's after we've reacted these two. We're going to say the iron gets used up. Um, in, in any event, iron's going to be really, really small anyway. And now we're going to do our equilibrium calculation. So we have our initial. Um, and then our change and then add equilibrium. So we're going to have the same reaction, but we're going to do it as an equilibrium reaction. It's just easier to do when we have our complex to start with, since it's going to be much greater than our iron. And that way our x will be really, really small. So that's why we want to start off with our complex ion and not of any of our iron instead of our iron and not the complex because this is going to be so small it makes the math much easier. Okay, so initially we just bring down these same values that we had and this is going to have to go up. This is going to um, go up 6x and then our complex is going to go down minus x, again, 1 to 1 ratio. So at equilibrium, we've got x. This is 1.20 plus x, and this is 0 0.050 minus x. So again, um, the complex number is going to be very large relative to the iron, and so we want a small x. That's why we did this initial reaction. Okay, so Kf. That's what we're going to use, and that's why we're doing this second step, is so that we can use Kf. If we look it up, it's 4.0 times 10 to the 43. So it, see, that's going to be way towards uh, the products and away from the reactants. So x is just going to be tiny, tiny, which is what we want to simplify our math.
and that's to the sixth power. So let's make that red so we don't forget to do that. Okay, and now we're going to plug in our numbers and solve for x. Again, our complex is 0, 5, 0 minus x. And then we have x for Fe times 1.20 plus 6x. And that quantity is squared. Uh, we're going to neglect x because it's very, very small, which is the, another reason why we want to start off with 0 for iron. Um, it, we wouldn't want our complex to be our x because it's very large. We don't want a large x for many reasons. So we're going to neglect both of those. And then our x turns out to be 4 times 10 to the minus 46. So obviously x is going to be very, very small. And um, that's why we set the math up this way. So it says, um, what's the concentration of iron? So let's answer the question instead of just leaving it as x. Fe3 plus concentration is going to equal 4 times 10 to the minus 46 molar. Uh, we could take that and divide it by our original concentration times 100, and we're going to see that that's way, way less than 5%. So we can neglect x, which is, again, why I said we set up our math the way we did.